que uno se puso de frente el hombre de ayer, por estar de gallito, hablando preto, no para de galleta y lo cambié. Just I think so this is so so yep. so Tony looks like he's ready for today's match. Heavyweight belt, set up for one fall. New Age Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match. What a surprise, the Renaissance of Wrestling has joined you for the main event because we had such a good semi-main event, we had such a good semi-semi-main event with the Hamlet Renaissance of Wrestling match that why can we not end the night with the glory of Hamlet Osu next to Kamikaze to save his day on the commentary table? Uh, you know that's saving my day, you give me uh, a headache. When you go home later and you think about it, you're going to be like, you know what, I was really glad Hamlet was there. Uh, I don't mind, I don't mind Hamlet. Alright, well getting back to the commentary at hand, now if you saw my match, last month, you will know that I defeated Batista in the most glorious fashion, and while he does have an opportunity here at the title, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to go as well for him. I injured him a little bit that he hasn't revealed, and I think BV has found that out, and I think he's going to pick that body part tonight, but I'm going to leave it to the fans at home to find out what body part of Batista is holding him tonight, and what would be the factor in him not winning the World Heavyweight Championship. But you did lose. No, I won. You won? I'm undefeated in 2021. Where have you been? All across the Northeast, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. 2021 has been an undefeated year for the Renaissance of Wrestling. So, how dare you accuse me of losing last month? Did you watch my match? I'm obviously not. I think... I think somebody's gonna take care of that real soon. That's I think you should go back on YouTube and go watch some of my matches this year. You might learn something. I don't know. You do a lot of talking and not too much. I do a lot of educating, and if you would listen, you would have been educated, but unfortunately you don't, so that's on you. I like to watch wrestling matches, not people flapping their gums. Yes, but which is why you would have a more diverse vocabulary if you actually learn something. But here we go, the task at hand. The World Heavyweight Championship match is upon us. And it's on the way. Here we go, we have the World Heavyweight Champion Beauty Cruz against Tony Batista here. Both very, very powerful men. Cruz gonna take control here. Nice lockup. Power struggle in the beginning. Ah. Oh. Okay. Batista showing off that he's. Not. He's a very big, large man. I did have my, you know, my moment with him. I can attest that he is very strong and powerful. But again, BB Cruz has the weight advantage here, and we're seeing it right here. He's forcing Batista all around the ropes here. These two going out of these two large men fighting for position with a rope break. Oh, and BB Cruz, the champion, going for a dirty maneuver there. Straight slapped him in the face. I'm not gonna lie, I might have done the same thing. Yeah. Actually, if I go back in my mind, I'm pretty sure last month Batista irritated me and I did the exact same thing. So BD, fantastic, wonderful job. BD likes those cheap shots, obviously. I don't know same. how cheap it is. You can't throw punches in wrestling. It's an open-handed strike. You want to call it a slap, call it a slap. I call it an aggressive tactical maneuver. Uh, it's still a slap. I'm gonna slap you in a second. We have Beanie Cruz going to the waist lock here. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Tony Batista using that technical wrestling ability, going back oh. in that wrist lock, and here we go, back to the waist lock. 
Up, oh, going, maybe going for a headlock here, trying to take control. Oh. And he does, and he locks on that headlock. Pushes him back. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yep. stumbles. Oh, Tackle two, a little bit more, going for a third one. And the third one the big down. man takes him down. Oh, he returns the slap, a little bit of poison That's to add to this flavor. I don't think he was liking that. Seems that the fans don't know how to feel here. Maybe that slap put a little bit on the back, tasting them out. But again, Tony Bautista got slapped first, just returning the favor. Indeed. Having a word with his... With himself. People say I do that, but unfortunately I talk to my friend Yorick, and people don't see that. They just see it me talking to myself. Is this friend? No, I actually have many friends. You are not one of them, as much as you'd like to be. No, it's fine. Big oh. leapfrog here, show you that. And a crossbody from oh Tony Batista. Two count. Almost. That was a pretty high crossbody. That was, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Batista trying to get the fans here behind him. Fans are struggling to keep that clear. Oh, and he pokes him right in the eye and pulls oh. him in the buckle. You see, everybody must be watching my matches. Because I, I, I give them everything they have to do. I yeah, exactly. have seen that move before. Well, in truth, if you go at your opponent's eyes, even though it's frowned upon, clubbing blows and BD, it is a moment that you can take control. You just have to be careful. Oh! oh my God. It's over. It's over. That was over a 300 plus man. Cannonball maneuver in the corner. Impressive. Tony Batista is showing some life like here. A big guy, you don't think he can get up and do stuff like that until it happens. Big clubbing strikes here from the big man, showing why he's oh, the champion. The fight back. Oh. Puts him back those down. Arms hammering oh. blows to the back of Batista. Each of those arms must weigh at least 85 pounds. Oh my goodness! All oh, the weight dropped, and he found the way to kick out. Tony Batista still staying alive here. I have to say, both of these big men came to show what they could do. Indeed. Tony Batista is not taking this match lying down. He wants to leave here he with the New Age Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. On him, keep him down. Yes, and unfortunately, it seems that Batista is not going to stay down in the VB. He's going to have to do a little bit more. The fans are getting behind him. Fans, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see how he's going to use this. Keep it in my waist lock tight. Oh. And a big elbow to the side of the head. Oh and Batista God. breaking that waist lock. And he hits the ropes. Oh. Wait a minute. VD's valet grabbed Batista's A distraction from the outside. Oh, oh my man. goodness, right on his head. You see, at least Yorick is dead. He can't interfere as an outside manager. So this is just one more thing that people can't pick on me for. But it's okay. It's fine. I don't think there was anything wrong with that. Why do you have a manager? You have a manager weak side to make sure that you're in the position to win. And that's exactly what we just saw. See, you have anything to say to that Kamikaze? You don't because you know I'm right. I don't really think... She's a Hamina, 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 that's all right here. I'm pretty sure she's a valet and not a manager. Oh, well, you yeah. know. You're oh, right. Excuse me for the vernacular. And he drops here. that leg. I'm surprised his neck isn't broken from that. That was a 300 plus man dropping right on that neck. BD just seems to be literally throwing his weight around onto Batista. See, and, and we have our valet here just observing because she knows BD is in control now. She did not have to do too much to make sure that he was going to maintain control. And here she was just laying back and enjoying the show. Waiting for her opportunity, I suppose. But seems to try to get some of the energy of the crowd to feed itself back into him so he can work his way up. And we're seeing that right here. He's doing a very good job. Of back that. to his feet. They seem to keep giving him what he needs. To can he back. break the hole? And he does strike him back with all he's got. Big forearm strike. Lightning blow. And he goes for the line. Just missed Beauty, but he stumbles. He caught him a little bit. He goes for it again. And he ducks him. Big German suplex. Going for the bridge. On his shoulders down low. Official Giuseppe did not see his shoulders down, but he'll run up him. Two. Not today. I'm not going to lie, Kamikaze. If that bridge had worked, I think this match would have been over. More than likely. And here we go. Back to those big clubbing arms. 
it's like a sledgehammer hitting you in the middle of your back. He looks like he's going for something. He's got something in mind. He's climbing to that, that second turnbuckle. Oh. Wait a minute. You don't think he's going to drop all that right now? No, this is not. This is not happening. He's been doing this it this whole Yorick, time. Yorick, calm down. Yorick! Oh, and it did not work out this time. But see, that's the risk he's taken. And Beauty, unfortunately, all of that weight that would have came crashing down on Tony Batista, he's on Beauty himself. And all of that weight came crashing down the night. I wouldn't be surprised if Beauty broke a rib right now. And now he has to defend his championship with an injured rib. If there's ever an opportunity for Tony to come back, this, this is, is his moment. Forearm yeah. so, um, strike from Beauty. Again, going strike for strike here. And the fire. The there we go. Back. There we go. This is the Patrol Tony Batista I saw last month. Big strike. Here he comes. Firing up. Another big forearm from Tony Batista. Oh, chest first to the buckle. Oh, it's over. I have to tell you, he gave me that move last month, and it, it, it hurts. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure it does. I couldn't, I couldn't turn my neck. I couldn't turn my head to the left for at least four days. Going for the backdrop here. BB counters. Time. That was my rhyme, and this match is over. Wait a minute. Again, the ballet, single opportunity. Oh, oh what's wait. going on? Wait a minute. Oh no. I, 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 just, what's a distraction? I, I, I just so many things. Wow, what an upset. Now, some may say that the referee might have seen something. But I'm pretty sure, from my angle, he was too focused on BD and the power that he was trying to convey to see that the valet actually had come up in the apron. But I'm surprised that the valet actually did all that because he just threw flowers all over her head not too much earlier. And, uh, and again, we see it here. BD Cruz is the heavyweight champion. He's not the heavyweight champion for no reason. but. It's possible that if that ballet was not inside, we would be crowning a new world 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 of world champion right now. And look at this. To add insult to injury, he is trying to be a smooth operator. I mean, he is if he pulls off this upset. You're right, I can't even deny it. Yorick is even giving you credit for saying that. That's the first thing he's giving you credit for saying this whole night. Thank you, Yorick, I guess. He doesn't need your, uh, your approval. Folks, I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did because, again, the most important thing to remember is that Hamlet Hershey, the renaissance of wrestling, walked away victorious. And as we look at BD Cruz, our New Age World Heavyweight Champion, trying to dance and be a smooth operator in the ring, I can guarantee you, within a few short weeks, possible months, but definitely not a year, Hamlet Hershey will be taking that championship. And Kamikaze will be sitting at the commentary table alone by himself reminiscing on this moment that we all can come together and appreciate. And he will be saying, I remember when Hamlet was ranting and raving about becoming the champion. And yet, here he is. And now we see our champion, Rudy Cruz, taking the like long walk back to the locker room. I'll be seeing you soon, sir. I'll be seeing you soon. Yes, I'll be seeing you, you smooth operator. I'll show you the smoothness. Well, Kamikaze, this has been a blast. Uh